welcome. Thank you for being here with me for this 40 minute Kripalu yoga flow. I'm excited to practice with you. I am personally feeling like I am long overdue for some yoga. So thank you for being here and practicing with me. Throughout this flow, we're going to do a lot of stuff here, but we'll incorporate some up boat and some abs as we go along to build that core connection and a little bit of strength. In addition to the aesthetic, to looking nice, right? We all like nice core and maybe abs potentially. The reality is core strength is really important to support us, to keep us upright, most importantly, to support our back, to maintain our posture, to keep us safe if we move suddenly or unexpectedly. Our core muscles is what helps us brace and keep our spine safe and our body upright. So as we flow, let's build that core connection and strength and more importantly, have a little fun as we go. This flow is meant to meet you exactly where you are, so do modify. Take what you need and Feel free to leave the rest. We'll start on our belly this practice. So take your time getting there. Let the forearms come to your mat and maybe you stack your hands and place the forehead down right on top of those stacked hands if you'd like to give the neck a break. Feel into this shape. Take a moment to Point your toes, one leg, one foot at a time. Point those toes back and elongate through the low back, through the tips of your toes. Get as long as you can. When you feel like you've created as much length there as you can, bend the knees and let the feet begin to flow side to side in your reverse windshield wiper knees. As the feet begin to flow side to side, find your connection with your breath. In through the nose and out through the mouth or whatever feels best for you, you decide. Perhaps you take a moment to set your intention for practice. Choose your focal point. Choose where you intend to focus your energy as we flow along. talked about affirmations before and the magical way that they can support our practice and support our mental well-being and so as part of my personal practice I have an app called I am affirmations it's on my phone it's also accessible on my watch and the one that just popped up for us is my life is at peace in this very moment so take a big inhale and repeat that back to yourself. My life is at peace in this very moment. Next exhale, drop the tops of your feet down. Let that forehead plant once more if you like, or maybe open up into cactus arms if you'd like a bit more of a chest opener. And then bend that left knee and try to Kick your left foot over toward the right side. Can you get those left toes down to the right side of your mat for a little tap? Or does it feel better to just hover there, perhaps? Cheek might lay down on your mat, looking away from that leg that's up. Or you might turn towards it, see what feels better. 
Take one more inhale as you exhale, release from that side. Take it over to the other side. Bend the right knee. Kick that right foot over toward the left side. Can you tap the toes down on the left side of your mat? Or how does it feel to let the foot, the hip, open up and hang? Take it one more hand again. Inhale as you exhale, release back your center. Take that first side once more, open up. Notice where you go this time in your scorpion pose. Tapping that scorpion tail, your toes down toward the mat, big inhale. Exhale, release through center. Take it over to the other side. Inhale here. As you exhale, release back through center. Slide the hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck the elbows in close. As you inhale, lead with the heart and rise up a few inches. Maybe you press to baby cobra or a bit higher, you decide. Exhale, slow, lower down. Get those fingers really wide this time. Wide fingers, pressing evenly. Inhale, rise and press a bit higher. Exhale, slow, release. Take it one more time. Inhale, rise and press. Hang out at the top this time. Take a look over your right shoulder. Inhale. As you exhale, take a look over to the left shoulder. Exhale, release back through center, lower down, tuck your toes, rise the hips up for down dog. Take a pause to pedal out. Taking a pause in your pedaling, drop the heels as close to your mat as is comfortable. Look toward the hands and hop, walk, or float to forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and fold. Take it one more time. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and fold. This time as you inhale, rise and reach up overhead. Get really tall through the fingertips. As you exhale, sit back into chair pose. Take a pause in chair. Pay attention to your feet. Are they pressed evenly? Press through the toes. Press Pressed through the outside edges. Pressed through the heels. Take an inhale to rise and reach. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and fold. Plant your hands and step or hop back to high plank. Taking your gaze forward. Inhale, shift it forward as you exhale, slow, lowering down into Chaturanga. Inhale, rise and press. Exhale, release, take that two more times. Inhale, rise and press. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale to press. Exhale, release, tuck the toes, rise to down dog. Kick the right leg high. Bend your knee, open up the hip. Appreciate that stretch. Notice the difference compared to your scorpion. Take a big inhale as you exhale, square up the hips, shift it forward, knee to chest in your high plank. Exhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Inhale, slide forward, knee to chest. Exhale, kick back. Inhale, one more time, slide forward. Exhale, kick back. Inhale, slide forward, hold that knee for three, 
two. One, and then step the right foot right in between your hands, set up your crescent lunge before rising and reaching up overhead. Sinking into that shape. Open up into cactus arms. And notice, can you sink in a little bit more? On the inhale, rise and reach, extend the front leg as you do. Exhale, sink back in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sink back. One more time, inhale to rise. Exhale, sink back in, and then frame your foot. Step it back to meet the other in, down, dog. Taking a look at your hands, hop, walk, or float to forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise and reach up overhead. Get planted evenly through your feet. As you exhale, sit back into chair pose. Maybe this time the hands come to heart center. And you might even take those hands from hip to hip a couple of times. See if you can get a little core engagement with a twist. Now the trick here is to keep your lower half of your body still, stationary, planted, grounded down as best you can. While the upper body finds movement. Take a pause in your movement, come back through center on the inhale, rise and reach. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, step or hop back, high plank. This time, shift your weight over to the right side. Open up your side plank. Maybe in a staggered side plank or some other variation you appreciate, you decide. Taking one more inhale as you exhale, flow through center and then rock it over to the left side. Side plank. Maybe staggered, maybe somewhere else. One more inhale. As you exhale, release back through center, shift it forward, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, cobra press. Exhale, release, take that two more times. Inhale, cobra press. Exhale, release one more time. Inhale, cobra press. Exhale, release, tip the toes, rise to down dog. Keep the left leg high, bend your knee, open up the hip. Taking one more inhale. As you exhale, step that left foot forward right in between the hands. Set up your crescent lunge, rise and reach up overhead. As you sink in and get planted, open the arms up into cactus arms. Keep your fingers really wide as you do this time. Really, really wide. On the inhale, rise. Take it one more time, and inhale to rise. Exhale, sink back in, plant your hands on both sides of the foot, step it back to down dog. Take a look at your hands, hop, walk, or float to forward fold. On the inhale, flat back. Exhale and fold. Now this time, bend your knees as generously as you can. Let your bottom come right down to the mat. Sit back and find your up boat setup. Now, this is about meeting yourself where you are, right? 
So do you love traditional up bow? Is that your favorite? Is that where you want to start? Do you want to start in a scaled back variation? Where do you want to be? Let's build it from the ground up, huh? If you know where you want to be, go there. Don't wait for me. You should be there, right? If you're not sure, here's some options. Roll those shoulders down and back, pinch them back behind you, hands underneath the knees. Sit back a little bit. Feel that core turn on, keep the feet planted. You want to take it a step further, go ahead and alternate those feet, tap them side to side. You feel confident there, you want to play a little differently. Double tap, let's go. Tap those toes, rise and lower. You can do it hands on or hands off, you decide. How much challenge do you desire in this moment? Perhaps you prefer to hold, maybe with extended legs and pointed toes. Hands on or hands off. Your choice. Where do you want to be for these last five? Four, three, two, one. Sit up tall, extend your legs out long, and reach for the soles of your feet. Blow the breath out as you do. Inhale, halfway lift, shine heart forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, get nice and tall, reach the hands up overhead. And then as you exhale, Lean back about 30%. Reach the hands out in front of you. Now, tricky here, keep those shoulders pinched back behind you. So we don't want to round them way forward. We want the shoulders plugged back behind us, fingertips still reaching, reclining about 30% to feel that core activate. And hold. On the inhale, rise and reach. Exhale and fold. Reach your feet. Taking opposite hand to opposite foot, left hand to right big toe, or maybe over to the foot. Take a hold there. Open up into your half boat pose. Maybe your hand comes back. I'm trying to figure out the best angle here. Sorry, guys. Hand comes back behind you. Maybe on the mat. Take one more in. As you exhale, release back through center. Take opposite hand to opposite big toe. Open it up, half bow. If you can't reach your feet, go ahead and grab a dish towel or a yoga strap. Loop that around your foot. Consider that your little arm extension. One more inhale. Exhale, release and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Inhale, rise and reach up overhead. As you exhale, sit back 30%. Find just that upper body in up bow. Keeping the right hand reaching forward, open up your left. And then exhale, close it up. Inhale, open up the right. Exhale, close it up. Take it to each side one more time. Inhale, open up left. Exhale, close it up. One more time, other side. Inhale, rise and reach the center. Exhale, release, reach your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, sit up tall, bend your knees, let the soles of the feet come to your mat. Find your up boat once more. Maybe the feet are on the floor. Maybe they're parallel to the floor and risen up. Maybe the hands are under your knees or not, your choice. Take your hands to steeple fingers, pointer and thumb stick out. Shoulders are still tucked back behind you. Point those fingertips toward your toes. And then keep your right hand pointed forward. Open up the left arm. Exhale, close it up. Inhale, open up right arm. Woo! Exhale, close up. Take it to each side one more time. Inhale, open up. Exhale, close. 
Inhale, open up. Exhale, close, release the legs. Reach for your feet and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Opposite hand to opposite foot, yogi toe hold. Open up that half boat shape. Take one more inhale as you exhale, release through center. Take it opposite hand to opposite foot, rise up, half boat shape. Exhale, release, reach for the feet. On the inhale, half a lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise and reach up overhead as you exhale. 30%. Lean back. Maybe a little bit more this time if you can manage it. Keep those shoulders back and the core active. Open up, one arm. Exhale, close it up. Inhale, open up the other. Uh, opposite side. Woo. Exhale, close it up. Take it to each side one more time. Open up. Exhale, close it up. Other side. Exhale, close it up. Reach for your feet. Inhale, bend the knees, soles of the feet to your mat. Find that up boat once more. This time, perhaps there's a Russian twist that calls your name. Maybe you prefer to play with that steeple finger arm opener variation, you decide. Or maybe you really appreciate the toe tap opportunity. Pay attention to your shoulders, women especially. We are notoriously good at hiking our shoulders way up to our ears, especially when we don't need to. Just actually never, we never need to do that. But that's why women have generally stronger trapezius muscles, meaning right on top of the shoulders, right over. So generally, if you're looking at somebody head on, you can see mine under my straps a little bit. It's one of my favorite muscles that I'm proud of. Um, that's your trap. Women generally don't need to do as much intentional work on their traps because we're constantly doing this. Can you imagine why? Why do we do that as women? If it's not stress, it's bags, right? Baby bags, purses, grocery bags, whatever it is. Are you thoroughly distracted yet from your own boat? <laughs> Are you still going? Take one more inhale where you are as you exhale. Kick those legs long, fold it forward, reach for your soles. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, rise and reach up overhead as you exhale. 30%, lean back. Now maybe this time, can you lift one leg at a time, alternating while you hold that upper body whew, in that 30% pitch for five, four, three, two, one. Reach for your feet, blow the breath up. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, slide the knees in, swing them around, come into a high plank. Fingers wide. Micro bend to your elbows. Take an inhale. As you exhale, shift it forward, lower down, chaturanga. Bend the knees, let the knees land on your mat. Keep those elbows close, fingers wide. Reverse push up on your knees. Rise back up. Now when you're at the top of that, rise the knees all the way, come back into that high plank and then shift it over to the right side for a side plank. Maybe it's a supported 
side plank. Maybe it's staggered, maybe it's somewhere else. You just Exhale, flow through center. Take it over to the other side. One more inhale as you exhale. Flow through center. And then shift it forward. Chaturanga, lower down. Take the forearms in front of you. Hands stacked. Maybe your forehead comes to those stacked hands. So you take reverse windshield wiper knees. Notice the difference from when we were here the first time. The shift that has occurred. Take a pause in your windshield wiper knees. Open up the arms into cactus arms and let your right cheek lay on the mat, looking over towards your left side. Bend the left knee, kick that scorpion tail over toward the right side. Appreciate that stretch across your core, your abs. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, release through center, kick the opposite over, left cheek comes to your mat, looking over to the right side, kick that right foot over toward the left side, appreciate the stretch across your hip, your low abs, your side body. Exhale, release through center, keep that lower body still, right cheek to your mat, slide the left hand down toward your shoulder, and keeping the right shoulder planted, start to press up so that we're really focusing on the shoulder this time. We're opening the front of the body. Now, naturally, you might kick that leg back over and roll to open up, but the focus is on the front of your right shoulder this time, rather than focusing on the lower body. You're still gonna get a little bit of that. Women, you might need to readjust a little, shift some things out of the way to get a good stretch there, but do play with it. You should be able to feel it right across the front of the shoulder, maybe some in the neck, the jaw, depending how tight you are and how connected with your body and your experience you are, notice. Take one more inhale as you exhale, release through center. Over to the other side. Right hand slides down to your shoulder. Left cheek is planted. Keep that left elbow, left shoulder planted. Press and open up. Navasana. Maybe you incorporate your yoga mudra arms in the shape by interlacing your fingers, rolling the shoulders down and back, heart shining forward. Breathing in and out. 
Notice where your focus is. Where's your attention, your intention. Taking one more inhale. As you exhale, release and find your windshield wiper knees one more time. off of my watch. These ones are good today. I am grateful for the things that lead my life and create room for more expansion. I'm grateful for the things that lead my life and leave room for more expansion. For holding on to the past, for holding on to what does not serve us. It doesn't allow us to move into the next evolution in our lives. And so we let go. We release holding on, release the desire to control, release the need, the feeling of holding on to things too tightly that are well beyond our control anyway. Pause in those windshield waiver knees. Rise up into that boat pose one more time. And then as you exhale and release, perhaps you hang out right here for Shavasana. If you'd like to move your body somewhere else, maybe in a traditional resting pose or maybe with gentle movement, like your reverse windshield waiver knees, then you find what serves you best here. Do you want to spend the next few breaths, the next few moments in your body in this practice? Eyes closed softly and the 
tongue release away from the top of your mouth. The reading in this practice for August 9th, if you're with me live, is entitled Grow in Your Sensitivity to Toxicity. Just as we are becoming more careful about our earth and the toxins we put into the ground and air, so will we grow in our sensitivity to events, people, places, and substances that feel toxic to us. Our bodies will speak to us, tell us what they don't want, what they cannot handle anymore. Our bodies will tell us what hurts, what we are allergic to, what we wish to move away from. Often, underneath the toxins are old, embedded emotions. Release the emotions and you release the toxins. Our bodies will gasp for clarity, purity, cleansing, and detoxification. What is toxic to one person may not be toxic to the next. What my body wants and needs today may be different from what your body wants and needs today. The answer is in listening to our bodies, listening to what they're saying, listening to how they are reacting to the people, the substances, the world around us. Choose to listen. What is your body telling you? Trust the messages that you receive from your intuition, your body, your internal knowing, and allow yourself to heal. On the next inhale, slow rise of the hands up overhead, palms beating at the peak before exhaling down to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Take that two more times. Inhale, rise and sweep. Maybe the eyes flutter open as you do. Palms meet at the peak and drop back in to heart center. Take it one more time and as the hands flow by your chin, let it bow to your chest. Hands resting at heart, we seal our practice with namaste. Thank you, friend, for practicing with me. I'm so grateful that you do. I hope you enjoyed this practice and opportunity to build some core connection as we flow together. Keep on coming back. It's a practice like anything. Until next time, be safe. Be kind. Continue choosing. Cheer you up. <laughs> Have a great day wherever you go from here.